Hello everybody, it's day 28 of my challenge, I'm trying to reach the rating of 2000 inches within 30 days and today I have to play the grub because yesterday I've lost the game and it's time to pay my bills, let's go so, okay, I have the white visas and we have G4 there we go, I have to put the earphones okay, so my opponent is playing d5, this bishop is attacking this pawn and now the idea of the grub is to leave this pawn hanging to go for a quick development. Will my opponent take here? Yes. And now I also play the move c4 and if they take, I'm going to take here and then take this pawn. Okay, they are protecting. So I will go with the queen out on b3 and I'm attacking now this pawn on b7 but also the d5 pawn. There are so many ways that black can, could go wrong here. Uh, usually e6 is a good move. Oh, queen there. Okay, this means that we go to an endgame, but it's a good deal. I trade the queens, and then I'm taking gear, and then I'm taking gear. So I won back the pawn, and now I have more pawns in the center, right? I can go with the two pawns very active. Also, those two pawns are a little bit weak, and uh, I think it's okay. I think it's a decent position. Now, my opponent could go with the knight here, right? But it's not a big deal because I can bring the bishop back. So I will just develop this knight protecting this pawn. And if the knight goes there, I just go back with the bishop and protecting. And the knight is doing nothing on b4. <clears throat> yeah, this is a good move. I'll go, I'll go back here. Because I don't want to trade in such an open position. I want to trade my bishop. No. Yeah, that's a good one. I say again, I don't want to trade my bishop, and also the big part is that this bishop is really hanging, like completely hanging, because, um, yeah, I can't take with this pawn, there is a rook hanging. Now, I'm thinking about this check, uh, is, is looking interesting, but after rook takes, knight takes, my opponent can go for the fork. So you know what, I'll go with my bishop all the way here, it's a little bit sad, I know. But I might be able to win some tempos now. So I will play the move f3. I know that you say, I said, I've been saying the entire time, never play this move, it's bad, it's really, really terrible. But it's bad. But just if your opponent can do something to exploit it, right? But this diagonal is not weak at all. There are not even the queens on the board, so why should I even worry? Now, I'm playing also this move. Wait a second, then there is this check. So maybe I play this move to attack, uh, but then how do I develop? Because if I play this, there is check. And if I play this move, then my opponent moves here. I cannot play this because this pawn would be hanging. And if I play king f2, okay, but maybe I have to play it slow. And I have to play e4. And then maybe d3, bishop out, like really a bit slow. But it's okay. We are getting there. Where? where? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, bishop out. Now I'm thinking about this bishop move, but I have to be careful about discovery checks. They could be a little bit annoying. Okay, if not, you know what? I could try to go out with my knight in a different square. For example, here, and then to go towards this square. It's a weird way to develop pieces, but it's what we got. Also, wait a second. Uh, there is an idea that is knight there. We are attacking this bishop. I'm just checking that there are no tactics. Yeah, I love this move. We'll play knight here. Oop, that's good. So we are attacking the bishop and the pawn on b6. If my opponent sacrifices uh, the rook, I say, thank you very much, uh, you are a gentleman or a gentle lady. Okay, and now I could take there. I could just take there and I say like, ooh, my opponent has two nice pawns, but I have the bishop here, which we know it's nice. Should I do that? Yes, let's go. And then I will go with my king on f2. That's amazing. And now I'm ready to develop my pieces to go with the pawn here and then to bring out the bishops. Listen, it's not such a big deal here. Okay, I might just play this move now. Yeah, I like it. What? Because maybe I activate my bishop there and after pawn takes, my bishop finally gets out. I mean, the problem with the grub is that you push a, a side pawn. You're not really developing your pieces. And so I end up in a position where it was really hard to develop. Now, finally my pieces are briefing. I have good control over the center. I have the bishop here in an open position. So I'm doing well. Now, am I not winning something? So I play bishop here. I'm attacking the rook. The rook! Uh, the rook, I can't scream for real. I have to preserve the, the voice that I have. <laughs> so attacking the rook and the pawn. So rook c8 seems like 
uh, the move that my opponent is going to play. Yes. And now I'm thinking what to do. I think I will just develop here. Or maybe, wait, can I go here? Not because I lose this pony. Uh-huh. So it's like really a good moment to play this move, I guess. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. I'm not leaving anything hanging, right? Not a fork. I mean, here you always have to look for tactics, you know? Always. But finally, my pieces are starting to come out. If my opponent lets this pawn take here, they will have two weak pawns. I don't think that would be too good. But I'm not sure how they can avoid that. Okay, they take there. I'm taking with a bishop, absolutely. Because you know what? I'm, I'm basically developing this piece. Because um, I finally now, by removing that piece for the first rank, my two rooks are connected. They are defending each other. All right, now I could already think about pushing there. Oh yeah, that's very cool. Because my two bishops are very strong, but I'm leaving this pawn unprotected, so I have to be careful. And the rook might move there, attacking this pawn, and then this pawn is hanging. Ooh, but this cannot really be taken because this knight would be hanging. Okay, so I'm going for this. I have to make sure that the time I keep, I keep time on the clock, because if not, I could be in trouble. So now I'm attacking this pawn, my opponent has a very good move, and is knight f4. Because knight f4 is removing this knight that would be hanging if this bishop moves. It's attacking one more time this, and if I take here, uh, this comes with a check. Okay, this was a big, big, big miss by my opponent. So I think now I will go with the king here, uh, which is really... Uh, yeah, I want to block the knight from, getting, from going to f4. Uh, would be really a strong knight. <clears throat> So that's good. That's why probably if I was a mistake, I think knight of was such a good move. Uh, I have to be careful here. Okay. My king is a little bit exposed. Can I maybe just move this and... Oh yeah, let's do this. So I played this and I'm just attacking this little pony. If my opponent lets me take, it's going to be really, really bad for them. Because then I have, I can push this pawn, I can protect this one, and this one is going to be weak forever. So, I mean, this is like the power of the bishop here, for real. My opponent has all the passive pieces. Now, this move seems good, because they are attacking here, but I think I have a check, and then I can push. Oh, they go that way. Uh-huh. Maybe it was just a mistake what I did. So, if I play bishop here, they will take. I take here with the rook. Bing, boom, bam. Then the knight gets here. I'm starting to have few time again. If I take... I take, rook takes, I take, then pawn can take, or rook can take even. Okay, we play bishop here, we keep the bishop here. <clears throat> Let's go, I mean, this, if this pawn takes there, it's going to be a weak pawn, so I'm not too worried. Okay, now we take with the rook, because we are attacking, um, we are attacking this pawn one more time, and we want to get to attack this other pawn again. So it's, it seems good. Okay, we take, this pawn is now hanging. And my king is strong in the middle of the board. I have to accelerate now. I have to be careful. If I push this one, this is hanging. But here, you know, my plan is quite simple. I will have to create a pass pawn. So I will try to push this pawn. Oh, okay. I'm taking here. I understand that my opponent wants to go take this pawn. But you know that it, they could end up with a knight trapped? Uh-huh. Okay, I have two pass pawns. So this should be winning. I'm taking here. And then I go with the king here. No, here. There is a check there. Well, let's go with the king. I like it. Yeah. So the knight has no checks anymore. And now I have to just push those pawns. Like, push and baby, go. Just go. <laughs> and I love that this king could be, could be going here. Now we go there. Yes, to protect this pawn. The king has also no checks anymore. And rook here is a mistake because I could take... Oh, actually, I push here. If this pawn is taking, I'm taking this knight, and I'm winning. I have just two minutes on the clock now. <laughs> if they move the knight, I just take another pawn, which is free. So I'm now having two extra pawns. I'm going to protect this guy, and now let this guy run. 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 <laughs> as quick as you can, let's go. Don't stop. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. All right, we keep pushing. Yes, baby. There we go. There we go. Pinning this knight. 
and we push forward or maybe play push and i takes this i should it's completely winning right wait 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 that would be free what am i doing <laughs> what am i doing all right let's go all the way back or maybe bishop here i like this move okay i have just a few a few time much time okay we push this gear doesn't bring to anything because i give a check and now i'll go back here and go here all the way back if they can take they cannot take because this pawn is too strong <clears throat> oh well they take but now i'm just completely 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 winning because like they traded everything but then i end up with a pawn that is two steps away from promotion and that's game over well i shouldn't okay yeah good <laughs> because if i remove this my opponent might play this and then that and then take the pawn so okay whatever oh we won with the grub let's go <laughs> we survived the biggest danger now now the, the you know it's a smooth path towards towards 2000 no i'm kidding i have still to win my games i mean we have lots of reading remainder left you know okay we are playing against the french I will play this line with knight c3. This is the main line. Uh, c5. I don't like this move. I mean, I think this move just loses a pawn. I think we had this. I don't remember which day. I'm completely lost. Uh, but we are just winning a pawn here. Okay, you are pushing. I mean, I have a check here, but I can also go with the knight there. Listen, I like this check. Let's go. Knight there. And now I play knight here. Oh, you know that I could have played bishop c4, actually. <laughs> okay, it's okay. So knight here. I like this move. And the part, nice part is that if the queen goes there, I can just go with the queen here. And I have developed already my bishop. So this was all my plan. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no, my plan was so bad. Did I lose a piece? I lost a piece. Congrats. I think I lost a piece in this way already another time that's so bad okay good well it's very bad but you know it's what we got what can we do here damn it <clears throat> okay we'll play this and then try to take this pawn i mean at least we at least we get a pawn in exchange yeah it's not not a big deal at all so we got a pawn <laughs> for a piece oh no i i, I cannot play the grub again no for real that is too much. My soul cannot cannot deal with that. <laughs> All right, guys, this is completely bad for real. Now we go with the queen here and we pray, literally pray that my opponent blunders, plays a bad move. And this is not such a good move, but it's not so bad. It's like not so bad, but maybe it's bad. Wait, queen bishop here. I'm attacking the queen and this little pony behind. Wait a second. Okay. And the queen has to be very careful where where it goes. Because there is knight here check also. Watch out for that. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe. <laughs> I'm just a piece down. Oh, but ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, I maybe, I maybe play a rook here. Mm -hmm. That would be with tempo. So I give my opponent a, a way to defend. Where is the queen going? If the queen goes there, there is a fork. I'm full... <laughs> full power unlocked is that scary <laughs> i don't know <clears throat> Ooh, they sacrificed the queen that's so crazy i'm taking with the king guys because i want to keep the queen on this on this file you know uh what i'm taking there boom bum <laughs> yeah this is a nice advantage so what is my opponent having here well they have a rook Oh, well, they just have a rook and a piece. That's not good enough. I'm, I'm winning this. So we gotta, we gotta bring out the pieces now. <laughs> we gotta bring the pieces out. Oh, no, my pawn is free here. Yeah, that's a good move. Now I'm taking here. There we go. And then I will bring my king. Wait, maybe I have a nice check here. Nice little check. Yeah, let's give this nice little check. I'm going to take that pawn. Uh, the nice part is that as there are not so many pieces, my king is not so in so much in danger. So I'm going to take there. I know that there is a check here, basically, but I just go with the king towards safety, where I wanted to go. 
And now if my opponent takes this pawn, that's a very bad idea because the bishop is going to be trapped. I can play the move b3, then king here, and then take that. They want to give this check. I could play knight here, which is a very nice move, but then the rook goes there. I could also play a very simple move, b3, and I like it because it's controlling so many nice squares and this rook cannot proceed. Okay, now the rook chose that path, but I'm not sure. The rook is unprotected, so I have to be very, very painful with this knight. Hmm. What can I do? Yeah, because if I go with the knight here, the rook can just stay there. So are you telling me that I have to protect like this? This is very sad. <laughs> this is really a very sad way to protect this pawn, but I feel it's necessary to protect that pawn. I don't want to lose too many pawns. And then I will slowly try to advance this one. <gasps> oh no, wait a second. Wait a second. No, it's all good. It's all good, but it could have been really bad. I play queen here and I'm attacking this rook. And now after rook goes there, I can play queen here and it's all right. Or maybe I don't even play that move, but I play queen here. Bishop takes rook here, rook there, I give it check. Nah, not really. Okay, then I go all the way here and I just say goodbye to my pawn. That's okay. Sometimes you do mistakes in life. I was my strong pawn. Yep, 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 yep. That was not what I should have done. But it's life, you know? Let's try to make sure that we don't lose some time. My queen was also a bit out of place. My pieces were not fully coordinated. Maybe I was a bit too much pawn grabbing. I should have consolidated my position first before going with the queen. Take all the pawns. But now I see something here. So we go with the knight there, attacking this rook. And we are threatening this nice little fork. So the rook has to go there, right? But if the rook goes there, maybe we can even snap this. Because we are attacking the rook. Yeah, I think we're winning now. Uh, I hope this works. <laughs> I hope there is not something that I missed, but I think not. I mean, if rook here, I just take. If bishop takes, I just take the rook. So it's good. And if the rook moves in any other square, I have at least a very little nice discovery check. What? All right, that's not really good. <laughs> because now I'm also taking this rook. They might just resign here. All right, GG's. Okay, ooh, we play a 2000. That's where we want to go. So if we beat this guy, we can prove that we can also get there. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, we are playing against the Sicilian. I love to play against the Sicilian. Now here, I don't play the main line. So the main line is d4, going for the center, you take back with the knight. But I love to give this check. And the idea that white wants to develop first the king side, now we take here, then we castle. And then what we want to do is to build a center by playing c3 on d4. So that after pawn takes, we don't take back with the knight, but with the pawn. And we end up with a very, very, very strong center. Now they could play e5 to try to face this move. But hey, okay, they're playing g6. So they want to go with the fianchetto. But now my center is built and it's amazing. I develop my knight. Oh, wow. This is a bit unexpected. I will play bishop here, developing with tempo. I'm attacking the queen and ready to go there. Because usually with g6, e6, you have to be careful because you're creating some weak squares around the board. For example, now if the knight goes there, I think I have the move e5. Yeah, so the knight goes there. It's a little bit passive. I'm already looking at a move like e5. Yeah, but maybe not yet. Let's play queen d2. Let's play queen d2, and if my opponent is castling, then we play bishop here, and we are trading their best piece, the bishop. The bishop that is controlling is, is in the big diagonal, and is also the bishop that is defending the king. If this bishop is missing, all those squares are weak. Talking about chess plans, as you can see, uh, uh, when my opponent, as my opponent are starting to be stronger and stronger, it's much harder to have a plan and to just win. Usually, your opponent is, you have a plan, your opponent is stopping it. You have another plan, your opponent is stopping it. And, or, or, or you slowly improve your position without having a clear plan to then try to execute a, execute a plan. So it's like much, much more tension in a game, you know? And you try this out, it doesn't work, you try another thing, you know? Okay, so B5. Um, let's play A3. I don't know why, but I had a very... Uh, I wanted to say a very weird thing. 
So that is like, you know, trying to get a girl. That you have to try <laughs> so many things. And maybe at the end you're still a friend zone. And you lose the game. Edge. Okay, uh, sorry for that. Um, let's stick to chess. So, what we want to do here. Uh, maybe h4, h5 could be an idea to try to, you know, to attack this king. Yes. Mm, but maybe... So my opponent wants to push there. We know that and we, we should do something about it. Maybe I just moved my knight here. Uh, so I'm saying hello to the rook there. <laughs> and we are happy to trade. And my knight is going towards the other side. Towards g3. And at the same time, my queen is controlling the square. So for my opponent, it's not so easy to try to create some counterplay. Because here it's clear that they are trying to create something on the queen side. I'm trying to go with the knight here, play h4, h5 and trying to attack. Now this e5 is a good move, is fighting for the center, but I'm not sure if it's the right timing. Okay, I'll play the move h4. Yesterday h4 was an epic fail, today it won't be an epic fail. And I explain you one important concept in chess. So here, I didn't take, and I've been telling you so many times, don't be the first one to trade. But the essence of this rule is that if I take here, the knight is going to take, right? Now, if I trade everything, it's good for my opponent to trade because they have fewer space. And after pawn takes, knight takes, if I don't take, the knight is going to go on c4. So I basically for free, I activated a piece for them. Now, knight c3, knight c6 always ask what is their idea. Do they want to take there? Not really. Well, at least they can, but it's not good. For them, it's not really good to take here because this pawn will be left there uh, really weak. Now I could consider him pushing, I could consider pu I could have considered pushing also before, uh, but now it's at least doing done with tempo. But I think it's not really something I want to do, because the knight could get there and then here. I'm not sure I really like this, so I'm going to push here and to keep going with my plan. I want to attack this king that is feeling a little bit uh, sad over there, and um, maybe I will get also my pawn to h6 or my queen here. I'm starting to be a really a little bit annoying there. Okay, so knight there. This pawn is now under attack, right? Can I play the simple move knight here? I know that I'm leaving a pawn hanging though. Or maybe I can first take... Okay, I see some crazy things here. I really want to go with knight there. Uh, sacrificing this pawn. So knight here, I'm protecting those two pawns. And, but this one can be taken, so my opponent can take there. And they're attacking this knight. But cannot I just slide my queen here on g4? And the threat are really big. I could also consider taking first, queen takes and then queen there. I'm not sure which one is stronger. But hey, I really go. I, I love it and I go for this. Yeah, that threat is so strong. Queen g5 is such a, such a strong move. And the nice part is, for example, you know, knight takes. I play queen here. There we go. And now what is my opponent doing? Oh wait, maybe they have h6. I was stupid. I should have played this first. Yeah, h6 is the only move that is stopping. If not, they are completely lost. Uh, if they move this knight, it's a big problem. I'm going to give check. The king moves. I take this. Yeah, h6 is the good move. Now, I'll go back here. I'm a pawn down, but I still have my attack here. So they, could, they shouldn't push here because they leave this big hole for my knight. And, and by the way, yesterday I saw some comments. I said, like, how to exploit holes in chess. Maybe it was not the perfect term to use. But actually, like, we square and exploiting with squ weak squares is really a thing. <laughs> but okay, uh, let's exploit weak squares. This is better. And I remember, like, at least in Italian, we, we, call, it, we call it holes. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I expect the knight takes. I don't know why. Yeah, now, if I take here, my opponent is trading the queen. So I take with the queen to keep the tension here. Guys, let me know in the comment what I should have done better in this position. I'm sure that I have a very good one. Uh, maybe h6, now that I think. Like, h6 and then queen here could have been just so good. Which is really a pity, because there could have been so many nice checkmates. I think h6... Okay, I cannot, I cannot do analysis while I'm playing a game. It makes sense. Alright, so the queen was looking at this pony. I'm going to play rook here. I'm attacking this pawn, and I'm going to double the rook there. Double the rooks. I don't grasp the idea of this move fully. I'm going to just bring the rook there and then the other rook here. This looks very nice. So the knight is going all the way back. I'll castle. Uh, uh, I'll castle. <laughs> I'll go with the rook there. How 
did I say? Why did I say I castle? I don't know. <laughs> I uncastle by moving the rook away. Okay, now one plan could be to go back here with the queen. Because then there is knight of five with check. I could think play this move. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, or maybe yes. Yeah, it's fun. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. This king has to be careful. I could think about giving this check. And after the king moves, I play queen here. And I'm attacking this knight. Oh, yes. And if pawn takes, I'm taking. There is this pawn hanging still. But then I'm sliding with my rooks. Let's do this. Check here, everybody. And if the king goes in the wrong square, I'm, I'm not giving anything. <laughs> because there is the rook. Okay. So I'll play queen here. Attacking that pony. That's exactly my pet. Ah, by the way, I say pony. I want to say pony. I, I can't pronounce the things correctly, you know. I, I'm, I'm working on that. All right. They took with the knight. But cannot I take here? Bing, boom, bang. In here, I say, okay, this is good, right? Check. That's a check. That's a check. Now maybe just rook here wins the game. I'm going to give mate, guys. Whoopa! <laughs> they had rook h7 that was trying to hold a little bit longer. Now it's just going to be checkmate. And I will give the sweet checkmate if my opponent allows me. Okay, there was after rook gear, you can play queen g7. <laughs> it's a fun checkmate, come on. <gasps> guys, I'm really afraid that I won't be able to reach 2000. So I'll play one more game. This video might be super long. Okay, skibu combe, let's go. Okay, d4, knight out, play d5, okay, what is this, I go with the knight out, I want to play e5, I'm a very simple person, let's go, let's go, we're basically playing with the white pieces, I don't know what, what is this type of opening, but it's not good, we take back with the knight, and is, I really feel like I'm playing with the white pieces now, right, bishop here, we pin this, we take, we take, and we here. So what I want to do, I want to go long castle. This reminds me so much about the French. And I think I've played this line in the first videos of the series. And I've been playing queen here, bishop here, and then I gave a checkmate there. <laughs> and that really worked. But actually, that's a, that's a, it's a very good play. Because the queen here it cannot be attacked by anyone. Like, the queen cannot be attacked, right? And so once the bishop goes there, if you stop your opponent from castling, that's very good because you keep the king in the center and then maybe I can play the move d4. So it could be very good. And if they go long castle, I can play just a position where I'm a little bit better. Okay, so we're threatening checkmate, guys. <laughs> Let's go. I don't think a 3000 will fall for that. <laughs> okay, g3. Uh, but hey, we can play still h4, h5, h5, h4. And we are really going for the attack here. Okay, queen there. Of course, we don't trade the queens. But we play queen here. Now, this bishop is under... Uh, sorry, the bishop is attacking the queen. And this little pawn is also hanging. Queen there. I think it's time to long castle. And then I'm going to go all in. Like crazy. I'm going to play g5. Rook g8. Going with a sacrifice here. Or like, right? Let's go, let's go. And this position is like what makes me... I, why I love chess. Because you can attack and it can be so satisfying. All right, we go with the rook here. I mean, this queen is nearly lost. Where is the queen moving? Not here, not here, not here, not here, not here. Well, the queen can just go there. Maybe I should have played this move actually first. Yeah, I'm not playing super crispy. Yeah, I should have played h5 first. I'm thinking about a completely insane move, which is knight g4. After pawn takes, I'm taking the root, the queen is under attack, and the queen is basically completely lost. And what is the idea of knight there? To play bishop here and to win the queen. So I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop until I win this queen. And um, that's amazing. Yeah, basically my opponent has no pieces. Look at this. Bing, boom, bangs, boom. They're all out. They are not helping the queen and the king. And instead, I have all my pieces that are really all going for the attack. And that's insane. Okay, guys, so am I not just winning a queen here? <laughs> I think so. I mean, do we have something even better? I mean, I could take there. 
and after Bing, I could take there. But, uh, you know, I give away lots of pieces for the queen. Instead, with this, I'm just attacking with a little bishop, a big queen, which is now quite small. Uh, it's, like, it's becoming smaller and smaller. <laughs> it's like crying. Desperate. Wait, what? Okay, we give mate. We, we, we just give checkmate, guys. <laughs> nice. After this victory, I'm confident we can make it. But we have to make it for real. So guys, like this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. I mean, there are so many people that subscribed and that's amazing. Thank you, everybody. And for those that still didn't, please do it. Uh, see you tomorrow for day 29. And this was day 27, the day where I actually lost my first game. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.